Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the pre-show. Um, anyway, nice little counter. So give everybody a chance to get in. This is Vicki Ross. I think y'all knew that. So, well, if I can hit the right button. Okay, here we go. Not anybody there yet, but that is quite okay. Last week, we did the printables from Robin for um, February group. And what I did was printed her printables and then enhanced them with different kinds of paint, sparkles, and, you know, just kind of made it my own. <clears throat> Some... Well, some are plain. I did those too. I like that one a lot. A lot. A lot. That one needs more. And I used um, Patty's stains. S-T-A-I-N-Z. Just added a little different dimension. Repetition with variation. And I'm going to do that today. Hi, Joyce. I have, an, I have a new intro, or so it's called. It gives me about five minutes to meditate a little bit so I can get ready for you guys mentally. I'll pull that out. That's from another pack. So, anyway, that's what I did last week. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to... I pulled out some colors. Okay. Before y'all got here, I sprayed tea stain on this page. And your best if you just let the tea stain sit or run your finger through it so you don't get an all over color. You get the little splatters. If you get a puddle of it, just pop it with your finger. I'm using this kind of a bottle, which is not any better than any other kind of a bottle, but it does allow you to put the dots where you want. This color was from a page we did a couple weeks ago and so instead of panicking and trying to cover it over I just decided to work with it because those colors are in the piece of printable that I found so I did this and dried it before y'all got here and now I want to <clears throat> I'm move this out of the way. I have a sting up um, da, 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 Tim Holtz collection, and it is called Ledger Script. And I pulled some orange distress oxide and some brush corduroy. So I'm going to put a little bit of text here and there. You don't get this stuff out and use it. A lot of this will be covered. For now, I'm just leaving them on the plastic. So, cover that up real close to my tea color and again this is brush corduroy and for grins I'm gonna try carved pumpkin now 
and that works great. <laughs> The stress oxides are really kind of weird because they they're very subtle. All right. Now my next plan, and you know it's scary when there's a plan. I'm gonna use paper artsy buff. And Paper Artsy Toffee. That would be Toffee. These are Seth After's colors from Paper Artsy. They're called Fresco Finish, which means they're a matte. And I'm just putting out a drop of each one. And I'm staying in my same color palette here. Add a little bit of water. And I think I'm going to use palette knife. I can control that just a little bit. That was just enough water, too, by the way. Because I want to be able to see through it. I don't want it to opaque everything out. Now let's do the same thing with a little bit of the toffee. Now I'm going to do just some... Lines, maybe. This is how you can use a palette knife in oil painting. Just get it on the edge, and then hold your knife over just a little. Okay, it's there, but it's not in your face, except right there. Any questions? Hey, Nancy. Did either of you see my grand opening 35-minute uh, timer? Okey-doke. Now I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to dry it now. Good. I'm glad you heard it. Gives you a chance to get a warning, a second warning. I do my first one sometime in the morning. And then this comes out through YouTube's warning and it gives you a chance to get ready, get your drink. And thanks to everybody, last week's video has done really, really well. And most of the viewers who come in on the replay are not subscribers. 
So if you all think about it in the chat every once in a while, you might remind them to subscribe, like it, click the bell, and then click all. Because we want people to be here. Ooh, okay, so good, so good. Right now, get my. I just stuck my finger in the paint. We all knew that would happen. Uh, I need. This was handy, so I'm just using it to. Oops to be my water. That neat. Gives you a ragged tear, but it also feathers the fibers out, and that makes them disappear better when you get them on your paper and glue them down. That's how I get my collage papers to look like they're all one paper. It's a nice... Uh, it's a segue. How about that? Yeah, there's some collage people that love to have hard edges, and that's just a different style. That little tool worked pretty good for this. This is a Tonic Studios little silicone mamma jamma. I got it at Christmas when it was on sale. Just look at how gorgeous that is with what we've already got going on. Ooh, gives me chills. And again, this is a Robin McClendon printable from her February stack. And I just happened to have this in the book back here. And I'm going to use part of it as well. I always stop too soon. I fall in love with a part of it and then and this is printed on onion skin. So if you're traveling you don't particularly need to have scissors or anything like that. Yeah, let's put this Let's see the white edge. Now mm -hmm. lay that down right there. If you end up with any torn edges, 
you can take your pad and just lightly cover, let it lightly hit the absolute edge. Not You're not glazing the interior part. You're just hitting the edge. I'll show you. I'm holding it perpendicular to the stamp pad and just kind of touching it. And that feathered edge will bleed. Into the paper. And it's very subtle. And there's a time and a place for a big blur on the edge at your discretion. Let's see, let's get the end of that one. Okay, now this end is going out. I like that little bit of purple. I'm not trying to make these two match, but this one is so loud and in your face. Um, I didn't want this page to get lost. So let's play. Pull that down. That's a straight edge. Don't want that. Okay, I'm trying to watch chat. Have y'all had an arty week? Something about like that. I'm staggering the heights and having each one end at about the same place. Uh, this fell out of something that I was working on. It's part of a napkin, and I did use it to blot up some of the tea. And I'm just kind of thinking. If you want to use a napkin... The easiest way to get them apart is just use your lips. Put one on each side of the napkin and it will pull up the layers. Some only have two, some have four. So I, I like that. Now, if, if I put it on there and it does not if it's too loud, I can come back over it with a little thin coat of the um, buff. But I think it's going to work good. This is going to be the cruciform, um, which is cross shaped. You can have the lines curving. You can have them like that. It's not necessarily a religious cross. It's just two points that intersect. Oh, look. I want y'all to see this. The water faded. Made the inkjet ink run a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. It's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some stuff down. And let's see. Let's see. I'm planning what goes under. So those can go on first if they're under. Okay. 
move this out of the way. Line up the stripes, sort of, about like that. And use Uhu. This is my way of getting things where I want them. And it's either my way or the highway, so there. No, I'm kidding. A lot of people glue up on a glue sheet, separate glue sheet. I've never had any trouble with sticky pages doing it this way. And if I do, I just get a wet wipe and kind of wet it. And it comes off. Of course, if you live in a climate that's damp, it might not be a good idea. And I put that right where this is going to go. I don't think. No, we'll leave it. I'm just going to put that down. The babies are home. Yesterday they got to go fishing. Not early. Randy just went to check to see what the conditions of the boat ramps are. And they got to ride. We had, I don't know, about 12 inches of snow. No ice, that's usually what we get, but we had some minus zero temperatures a fair night minus. We usually don't get that. So it was a bad couple of weeks. I mean, bad week. I'm going to make some little different cuts right in here. The orange on this page is the one that I, the color that I added to this printable. There, that's a little better, a little more interesting. Look, I, did, I was trying to line it up. They've got crooked lines going in there. So much for that. Kind of think in advance on things that you want to layer. I don't want to cover that purple up there. Okay. I call this intuitive journaling for some of you that are new. It's not a picture type of collage. It's more of an abstract. And I don't plan ahead of time exactly where the pieces are going to go. And for 
someone like me, a little bit ADD. <laughs> it doesn't bother me that I put that too close. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Just get it started with the glue and then pull it up past where you stopped. So you want your glue to overlap underneath. And I love using Uhu for the collage on paper because the consistency is drier than say an Aileen's or a, a white uh, PVA like Elmer's or Aileen's or some of the thicker ones. This has a whole lot less water. Still has some, but Once again, I'm amazed at how the papers just blend to each other. I'm seeing through this napkin, which just makes me happy no end. <laughs> I'm so glad I found this napkin. I'm going to put that down right there. No reason. Just committing. And I want that to stay on there. Because it presented itself that way. Um, the wetter glues, though, will turn transparent a little more. But this is doing a pretty good... Oops. That was my favorite part. I'll come back to that here in just a minute. Things happen. Those of you who've been with me for a while know that I do. I started doing mixed media to help me loosen up on my regular painting. And I haven't been doing much regular painting. Now that's what tore that off the first time. Be careful. And there's some, well, my style in painting is realism. Um, let's just put something over there. And if you want something to look like somebody, you pretty well have to. There is a right or wrong. Not necessarily a wrong, but you can do stylized portraits and stuff. Let's check this off. So far, so good. Vision boards are fun. Now I'm going to grab this piece, and I want it to be smaller than this piece. This is going to be the crossbar on our cruciform. Yay.
Ah, yeah, look at that good chair. I'm just going to tear that off. Something about like that. Don't forget that you've got a on onion skin, particularly, you've got a a front and a back side. See how that one's more subtle. Tried to tear that kind of in a jaggedy, a jaggedy thing there. I'm thinking, can you hear my brain rattling? I got some silk. I start to say washi tape, but it's sorry silk. I'm sorry. I want something to pop. Might do it. Let's see what else we got. I want to see too, don't you? I went on a buying spree one night, and these are just little one yard pieces. I like this one, it's got orange polka dots. <laughs> Where your little sack is. Oh wait. No, that's all right. Oh wait. Oh wait. They're different. Okay, definitely. Now, if you're doing something that you need this to be, like you're going to use it on a book binding or something, you can iron them out and you can get oh, five-eighths to three-quarters of an inch wide. Blendy. I don't know if I want blendy. I think that one's going to be the winner. It's not blendy, but you know, I really want it to be blendy. Let's try this one. Sometimes the strangest combinations will catch your eye. And you go, why did I 
use that. If I didn't have the blue in the napkin, I might. I think the winner is winner, winner, chicken dinner. Polka dots. You're going across the grain, you're not going to ever tear it. Save that. Okay, I like that. Need to add sorry silk to my hex cards. I'm going to put this one down first. I don't want it centered. Let's see. I don't think I need that. <clears throat> I'm not seeing my Scissors. My glitter glue. It's what happens when you clean up. Yeah. Let's see if it'll work. Imagine the hole down in the tube is okay. I love this applicator bottle.
and take a trip to the sink. And since I can't get the top off, it's definitely going to need a trip to the sink. All right. Put that over here so I don't forget it. And here's some Aileen's. Um, this size bottle is a three ounce, and you can get it at Dollar Tree for a buck. Whoops. And I'm going to encourage it to wrinkle here a little. Any of our people out there who aren't subscribers, I can use your help because YouTube looks at that number. Um, oh, that's cool. This up. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. Button. <laughs> the button. Oh man, I just love that little strip of don't get don't pat yourself in the back. Um, okay. Subscribe, then find the bell and click it, and then click on all. And that way you will get most of YouTube's send outs. Sometimes they're better than others. Okay, back to the corduroy. Good. And if you're subscribed, I've been starting off with a five-minute easy-to-watch countdown clock. Just using up some of what I... Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do just a little more of the buff.
Oh, it's water. Bought some of it. Now that just pushed that right into looking like it came from the same papers. Um, da -dum -da -dum. I'll look on my phone for a minute. I'm not going to go far. And I'll show you when I get where I'm going. This is a tool that I've had for a long time. And it is the Bob Burridge. Let me go back over here. I wasn't sure if I could find it. Okay. Nope. This little thing right here, it's his face. Bob B U R R I D G E Studio. Now, my dominant color reset. My dominant color is kind of in here. It's a brownie orangey color. So I'm going to I'm going to say orange. And my pop colors are green and purple and blue is the opposite. Sometimes this can help I'm not sure I like it. The the blue would be a focal point like a circle or something right here and then you've got your what does he call it oh the dominant being orange the focal point would be the royal blue and the purple and the green are spice colors which means you just have a little bit of them let's see what happens mm -hmm. okay. Okay, obviously I'm not reading well. I don't want the samples. Can I go back, please? There we go. Let's say my dominant is yellow, which kind of is. It's between. So then purple blue would be my focal, which kind of picks up these blues. <clears throat> and then red and blue green. That really suits me better. Roll this down, put the lid on. So what are we going to do? Let's see if we've got anything in these pages that I did last week. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in blue. What are my others? I've got a, a blue green, which would be teal, and a magenta. And they're all pretty much in the same value. So I can vary, <clears throat> vary from that if I choose. So we would have something popping right in here, which could be this kind of bluish mark. Let's cut that out and see what happens. I want a little bit of the dark blue. This would be a punch, like a spice color. You don't need too much of it. I'm drawn to this one right here. Don't know why. Sometimes my muse is playing and sometimes she's serious so this may not tear as good because it's acrylic paint on here And then the other is magenta. Oh, remember those reds might have some magenta. We'll go back to the orange, see what happens there. So it's blue and green and blue, purple, and green, and blue. Okay, so purplish means that this um, color, color flash, it's the red, would give us some of that punch that we're supposed to be getting from that.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of that in there and see what happens. That's why you do these papers, guys. And I had all intentions of photographing these. Which there's really no point in doing that because these are Robin's bases. But on my own stuff, I try to photograph the ones I like so that I've got more than one shot at using it. Okay, now this is supposed to be little. Well, that blends in perfect. That's going down, baby. Come on. Is that little piece? Okay, this baby's going down right there. I'm not sure that I like it. Put it right here, maybe not on top of our tape that we that we work so hard to put on. I really like that. Let's see what else I can do here. Just supposed to be a spice color now. Okay, now have we got repetition with variation? We've got all kinds of lines going on, background and then um, the napkin and then the writing. And then we've got shapes. We've got a funky shape here and that and the one up here are not the same. And then we have a longish and focal point. I'm going to put that right there for some reason. Oh. 
quite crowded today. For all you guys out there who may not be a subscriber, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell and you will get a wonderful piece of soothing music so you can get into the mood. for a play date. I do not know whether this is me looking the actually it's not that bad looking through The monitor at it. And I do like this metallic teal color. <laughs> You know what? I am going to put just a little bit more. This is the Dragon Flash. Stuff like this is a guide anyway, so. Oh, come on. I'm not sure that that is adding much, but we're going to Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna quit on this. What time is it? Four thirty seven. I think I'm gonna call this one finished.
I have not done one. In my two little journals. So let's see what we can do. Using scraps from. Let's do a quick flip through. Flip through. Oh, that's from Miss Robin. These pages are done. I'm using her pages in the background. This is a book I won from her. Where's that little piece of sorry silk? I want to put that down and get paint on my. be perfect I don't think art journals are ever complete I'm gonna get ready to dry Dublin. Now hold, hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> Nothing. I guess it's dry enough now. It won't come off on the book. You never know. BJ, I'm not getting up, Bubby. Okay, this is the card that goes in here. And let's just put a piece of paper. I don't want to get blue paint on my leather cover. Okay. Where did I put it? Okay, guys, anybody see it? What'd you do with it? Not there. Not there. <coughs> BJ? Randy is home, and he wants me to come. Well, crap on that. <coughs> I know, Joycey. Oh, these are a couple strips from last week. I'm not real sure why I had them, but they were white. That, that's why this was white and it had some good paint on it. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about the tag thing right now. There it is. Hello. Okay. Flip through. Here's the tag. Let's see, I want the Yeah, just fold it in half and put it through the hole. Best way you can. Oh, he's so mistreated. And put it through one at a time if you need to. Now then. Okay. 
want to fry that a little bit. So, I had it this way. I think I'll put it that way because that picks up that. And this is some of the Japanese boro. This is Patty Tolly Parrish's stencil for my stencil. Here's another tag that could use a little spot of color. See my little poppers? They really come in handy. We need to make some more. I don't know what that is. Feels like it's one of my paint bottle saves. Those are cool. P please don't throw them away. Another little tag. I've been saving clothing tags. I was, uh, I've been on Stitch Fix for a couple months because I needed clothes. And they're perfect when they send them. So anyway, I've been saving the tags off of those. All right, and we are to a green page. So we're going to use, we're going to do something just similar to what we did. There it is. Pumpkin was a carved pumpkin was a good idea. It's cold glory. tool now when you move to a smaller book you have to change your scale meaning that your pieces need to be smaller Oh, that looks good. I didn't put any paint. Mm 
and one squirt of water to make it less opaque. Ooh, that's perfect on that greenish paper. I think this paper is some Robin got antique French paper or something. Perfect color. And this is Seth Apter's color fresco paints from Paper Artsy. And Seth ships quickly, like you'll order it today and have it by the end of the week. And that keeps you from having to go to France to buy it. I didn't really mean for that one to go sideways, I promise, but Okay, there's a little bit of paint. All right, I'm going to dry it. I guess that means Poppy was outside. Well, now I put that right where I was going to put this. I can always add another one if I want. No, no, I like it this way better. Okay, we're going. I love working in analogous colors. Analogous means they're close to each other on the color wheel. They're very soothing. And then, like the little thing we just did from Bob Burridge, add your couple of spice colors to give a pop. And... I don't know that I've ever used every color on the color wheel, the bright primaries. I don't know that I have ever um, used all of them in one, one go. Yeah, that works. I have missed doing this. I need to have, in a month, I need to have one jelly printer, print, you know, you know what I mean, one jelly print session, and one collage session, and one working on a face session, and maybe one watercolor. I don't know. I need to, I want to. Isn't that pretty? 
my little light went up. I really do like that just the way it is. And this is some of the magenta that I had left over. So last week you got a primer on how to make someone else's printables your own by putting paint and stuff. Just make sure that the person whose printables you're using is okay with that. Some people are a little more worried about copyright protections than I am or Robin for that matter and I don't even mind if you copy my stuff paintings or whatever as long as you say after Vicki Ross on the title so we need a blue uh, blue Ba -ba This has quite a bit of paint on it. Make it a little more narrow. Not like that. I've got a little bit of the magenta. And my punchy color. picking up scraps easy that was
Whoops. Now we need just a touch more. Magenta. This one looks like down at the hog farm. I don't think I need it. I've got my punch colors, my blue. I think it's done. I do believe. All right, now I'm going to do real quickly, just a few minutes, I'm going to do one of these little ones this is my favorite little book i started it no oh, we're not gonna talk about that with just doing one page and then i started doing both pages so this is just a miniature i love the size of this book it came from walmart it's the de la Rowney in the art department that's pretty That's part of a security envelope. Just little. I mean, it doesn't take much. Another popper. All right, we're right here. Right here. Very nice, very nice. And then here's a piece of that. And just I wonder what I did with the big piece of the page that I was using. There it is. Maybe. Yep. So, scale. We 
just keep getting smaller and smaller. This is such good practice, you guys. And if you do it, well, we'll just let that little black thing show. If you do it a little one every day, you'll wake yourself up to go on and do your other art. Nope. Ooh, I like that one that we just finished. Where did I put? I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, that. Thought I had one already done. I'm just going to grab this little piece right here. That like that. Then I need a sidebar. Here's one. I'm going to do the sidebar first. Okay, I forgot paint. Sidebar first. Little three dimensional objects kind of aren't a good idea. That's not really where I was aiming. A little bit of this, that, and the other. Some papers, some paint, and some glue.
I don't want to cover that. We'll just extend that on up, kind of like that. Let it hang. And if that's too big, then trim it down. A little bit of magenta. If you like my videos, be sure and click the like button. And if you're not prescribed, <laughs> hit the prescribe button and then hit the bell and choose all. And you will get a uh, notification when I start. You'll have a five minute warning. That's new as of today. If I told you how many hours I have in it, you wouldn't believe me. Ta-da! We're done. Nice little piece. And this one. Let me make a spot. So we've got that one. And we've got that one, and we've got that one. Kind of cool. I'm going to take a few pictures. Well, I've got my lights on. Watch for your... Make try to make your edges parallel to the lens and watch for shadows because if I hold it right here, I get a shadow over here. Do this. Ah, uh, the camera was unplugged, so I'm 